Good morning, everyone. Let's bow forward prayer. Father, we thank you once again for it is your grace that allows us to come into your presence. Father, we pray that your spirit will fill us. Lord, help us to focus upon you. To realize that you are the one that deserves all the glory and praise. And Father, as Christmas, as we celebrate and look forward uh, to celebrating your birth. Father, we pray that you will calm our hearts in the busyness of this season. To realize that, yes, you are the reason for the season. That we will focus our hearts. To put our minds. To put aside the things of this world. To remember to give you praise. To worship you in our lives. And we will bring forth your word. This wonderful gift of Christ. To the people around us. Father, help us to see you. And to celebrate you. Father, open our ears to hear your word. Soften our hearts to receive your instructions to live for you. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I think I love the Christmas season. And I think that all of you do as well. And there is a great anticipation as Christmas comes along. You know, once Thanksgiving ended, Christmas already started, right? Every station on the radio is playing Christmas songs. And I saw that even houses before Thanksgiving was over, they were started decorating already. You know, there's a lot of anticipation as Christmas comes along where your family comes together. To be to have the experience of the family gathering together around the tree. There's lots of presents and lots of food. You know, there's just that this there's just this feel at this time of year, isn't it? And a lot of times we love that feeling. You know, it's a feeling of joy, of peace and good tidings. And there's an anticipation. And this is what Advent is all about. Advent is the period before Christmas. That's, that celebrates the anticipation and the coming of the Messiah. We look forward to the coming of the Prince of, Prince of Peace and the, and the King of Kings. You know, as Christians, it's also we look forward to the Christ's return and the anticipation of our coming King. Because as Christians, we long to have that joy and peace that, is, that, that comes from being with Christ. Especially during these past few years as we've experienced this COVID pandemic. You know, the world has been turned upside down. You know, we've been isolated so much that it's actually caused a lot of emotional stress and uh, emotional depression for a lot of people. There's a lot of loss of hope. 
And as we even today, as we look at our society, there's so much social unrest. 就算睇我哋今日嘅社會，亦都有好多嘅不安。There's this atmosphere of a lot of hatred, anger. 好似有一個嘅氣氛，有好多嘅怒恨，有好多嘅憤怒。And violence within our society that that gets us scared. 而喺社會裏邊，亦都有好多嘅暴力，使我哋驚慌。You know, and it, and we're not, and it's not just happening in America. 但係呢啲嘅事情唔係單單喺美國嘅嚟到發生，其實喺整個世界嚟講，我哋睇到呢一個嘅不安，我哋睇到喺呢個世界裏邊冇平安。And the world longs for peace. 而呢個世界所期望嘅就係平安。And this is where this message of Isaiah nine comes in. 而今日嘅經文正正就係要講到喺啊以賽亞書嘅第九章。Verse two it says, "The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwell in the land of deep darkness, on them has light shone." 第二節咁樣講，在黑暗中行走的百姓看見了大光。住在死日暗之地的人，有光照耀他們。Now what was happening in this place of Galilee？ 喺加利利呢個地方有咩事情發生咧 ？The people for many many years were suffering oppression and violence。喺歷年裏邊，當地嘅人都係被壓迫。For centuries they've been invaded by armies。喺好多嘅世紀裏邊，佢哋都係不斷嘅。俾軍隊嚟到侵佔。Armies that are go, marching into Jerusalem to to conquer it。呢啲嘅軍隊佢哋都係進到耶路撒冷嚟到攻城。And at this time of Isaiah's writing， 當以賽亞去寫以賽亞書嘅時候 ，the Assyrians cast a terrible shadow over all the land。呢一啲嘅亞述人，佢哋係侵佔緊大地。There was no peace. There was oppression to all the people. 喺嗰度係冇平安嘅，人民係被壓迫嘅。And this is this is where Isaiah comes in. This God brings hope. 以賽亞就喺呢度講係神帶嚟盼望。That in the midst of the darkness， 就係喺黑暗當中。There is light. God brings that light. 神就將呢個光帶到嚟。And in the midst of the darkness in Galilee, the light arises. 喺加利利一片漆黑裏邊。呢、这個光就嚟到啦。Verse three says, "You have multiplied the nations; you have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, and they are glad when they divided the spoil. For the yoke of his burden and the staff of his shoulder, the rod of his oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For every boot of the trampling warrior in battle, tumult, and every garment rolled in blood will be burned as fuel for the fire." God opened up a new future for His humbled people. God renews their joy in the metaphor of harvest and victory. Sorry. Verse three to five, right? Yes. 第三節到第五節，你使這國民繁多，加增他們的喜樂，他們在你面前歡喜，好像收割的歡喜，像人分老物那樣的快樂。因為他們所負的重壓和肩頭上的和肩頭上的壓，並欺壓他們的人的棍，你都已經截斷，好像在米甸的日子一樣。戰士所亂殺之間所穿的盔甲，並那滾在血中的衣服，都必作為可燒的。當作火柴，呢度用咗嗰個比喻，就係好似收割呢一個嘅比喻。So it's the, the harvest and the victory that actually pictures gives us a picture of their joy being restored。呢一個啊打勝仗同埋呢一個嘅收割嘅呢一幅嘅圖畫，就讓我哋睇到佢呢一份嘅喜樂。Their land has been laid bare and barren because of oppression。因為被欺壓嘅緣故，佢哋嘅大地都變為乾旱。God is the one that brings hope and restoration。但係係神要回覆佢哋，神要將喜樂帶過俾佢哋。He brings that promise of deliverance。神亦都將呢一個應許嘅拯救俾過佢哋。And this is actually the prophecy of the promise of the coming Messiah。但係其實呢一個就係預言即將要嚟嘅尼賽亞。You know, and we probably hear this verse read every year。我哋好相信每一年我哋都聽到呢一段經文被讀出嚟。Verse six is very famous. 
係好。For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government of and of peace there will be no end. And on the throne of David and over his kingdom, to establish it and to uphold it with justice. And with righteousness from the time forth and forevermore. 因有一婴孩为我们而生，有一子赐给我们，政权必站在他的肩头上。他名称为奇妙测试、全能的神、永在的父、和平的君。他的政权与平安必加增无穷。他必在大卫的宝座上治理他的国，以公平。公義使國堅固穩定，從今直到永遠，萬軍之耶和華的熱心必成就這事。In Isaiah nine, there's a shift in the the vision of this coming Messiah. 喺以賽亞第九章，我哋會睇到喺嚟緊呢個尼賽亞嘅焦點，我哋有少少嘅改變。In all the prophecies, it speaks of a man. 因為一切嘅預言都講到一個人。But now we're Isaiah nine actually points us to a different kind of Messiah. 但系喺以赛亚第九章系讲到别嘅尼赛亚。He's a Messiah that will assume the throne of David. 呢一个尼赛亚会成就大卫嘅诶权柄。He comes to destroy all enemies. 佢嚟到要消灭一切嘅敌人。And establish an earthly kingdom. 亦都去建立呢一个地上嘅王国。And he gives us these names. 亦都将呢一啲嘅名字俾过我哋。He's a wonderful. He's called wonderful counselor. 奇妙嘅测试。Almighty God. 全能嘅父。Everlasting Father. 全能嘅神。Prince. 永在的父。Prince of Peace. 和平的君。What's happening in Isaiah nine? What's shifting is that it. He is pointing that this Messiah is a God, is God Himself. 喺呢度，以赛亚所讲嘅就系尼赛亚就系神。God Himself who will come and deliver His people. 系神佢自己亲自嚟嘅释放佢嘅子民。He will come incarnate in, incarnate as a son. 佢要道成肉身嘅嚟到。As a babe to come and save his people。成为一个婴孩嚟到拯救佢嘅子民。And he's the wonderful counselor who will bring forth this kingdom of God。就系呢位奇妙嘅测试，将神嘅国度带到嚟。This message of the gospel, the message of salvation。呢个救恩嘅信息，呢个福音嘅信息。And only through him will be life。唯有藉住佢能夠得著生。He is the one that brings healing and forgiveness of sins。就係佢將醫治同埋赦罪帶過俾我哋。That brings restoration to all people。亦都要回復所有嘅人。And it says that he is the mighty God。佢係全能嘅神。That's the idea of being the the warrior that will protect his people。就係好似呢個嘅勇士要保護佢嘅子民。The one that comes to deliver them from their bondage and from their enemies。就係要喺捆鎖裏邊釋放佢哋。And he is the one that will come and bind Satan himself。就係佢嚟到要捆綁撒旦。And he will break that bondage of sin that is over man。亦都要去破碎呢個捆綁人嘅罪。That those he has chosen, those who he comes to save, he will free from this bondage of death and decay. Let these people be set free. He will free from this bondage of death and decay. Let these people be set free. He will free from this bondage of death and decay. Let these people be set free. He will free from this bondage of death and decay. Let these people be set free. He will free from this bondage of death and decay. Let these people be set free. He will free from this bondage of death and decay. Let these people be set free. He will free from this bondage of death and decay. Let these people be set free. He will free from this bondage of death and decay. Let these people be set free. He will free from this bondage of death and decay. Let these people be set free. He will free from this bondage of death and decay. Let these people be set free. He will free from this bondage of death and decay. Let these people be set free. He will free from this bondage A father who will lay down his life for their own children. 一个父亲会为着佢嘅儿女舍命。This is a, this is a vision of God Himself in the flesh. He is Emmanuel. 呢个就让我哋睇到呢幅图画，神就系以马内利成为人。And He is the one that comes to usher in peace. 就系佢将平安带过俾我哋。He is the Prince of Peace. 佢就系和平之君。You see, the world is is in much more need of just of tran more than just tranquility in the world. 
你知道嘛？呢、这個世界我所需要嘅係多過寧靜。The peace that we need is more than just free from disease or free from violence and wars. 我哋所需要嘅平安唔單止係要喺疾病、喺暴力或者係喺戰爭裏邊得到釋放。There is an unrest within our souls. 但係喺我哋嘅靈裏邊，我哋係不平靜嘅。Where man needs a much greater peace than this world can ever give。因為人所需要嗰個平安係呢個世界俾唔到嘅。And the peace that man needs is peace with God。神人所需要嘅平安就係與神和好。We need peace with God。我哋要與神和好。This takes us back to Genesis chapter three。咁呢個又將我哋帶到去創世記嘅第三章。Back to where sin entered the world。就喺嗰度講到罪進入世界。Is that our, our rebellion fractured our relationship to God？ 係因為我哋嘅反叛而折斷咗我哋同神嘅關係。And that brought eternal judgment for man。就係咁嘅緣故，人喺永恆裏邊係被審判嘅。It's in that rebellion that it destroyed man's relationship to God。就係喺呢個反叛裏邊破壞咗神同人嘅關係。That man was no longer a child of God。人再唔係神嘅兒女。The man was God's enemy。乃係神嘅仇敵。Destined for judgment。佢哋就係要面對審判。And because of sin, that relationship to God was broken。因為罪嘅緣故，與神嘅關係就破裂。So it is in this promise of the Savior, the Messiah。就係喺呢個應許裏邊，有呢一位嘅救主，有尼賽亞。He is the one who will come to save us from our sins。就係佢要嚟到，使喺。讓我哋喺我哋自己嘅罪裏邊得到拯救。And restore our relationship to God。亦都回復我哋同神嘅關係。Now this is the peace that man needs。呢一個平安就係人所需要嘅平安。Matthew one twenty one says she will bear a son and you shall call his name Jesus and he will save his people from their sins。馬太福音一章二十一節咁樣講，他將要生一個兒子，你要給他起名叫耶穌。因他要將自己的百姓從罪惡裏救出來。Out of his love, he sends Christ to come and restore his the relationship to his people。神出於佢自己嘅愛，佢就差派佢嘅兒子耶穌嚟到拯救佢嘅子民。That Emmanuel will take on the sins of his chosen。以馬內利就係為著。被揀選嘅人負上呢個罪㗎。And pay the penalties of their sins。負上呢個贖罪。And that if we would receive him as our Lord or Savior, we will be given eternal life。當我哋接受主耶穌基督為我哋嘅救主嘅時候，我哋就得著永生。Our sins will be atoned for。我哋嘅罪被償還。And we will have the righteousness of Christ given to our account。而我哋亦都得著主耶穌基督嘅義。This is what the Prince of Peace does for us。呢個就係和平之君為我哋所作。And he comes to restore our relationship to God。去回復我哋同神嘅關係。And this is the peace that we all talk about, the peace that the world cannot understand。就係呢一個嘅平安，我哋所講嘅係呢個嘅世界唔能夠明白嘅。That when we have peace with God。當我哋同神和好嘅時候。Everything else。While it may be stormy, 雖然話佢我哋仲喺風暴裏邊 ，our foundation is sure。但係我哋嘅根基係穩固嘅 ，because we are the children of God。因為我哋係神嘅兒女 ，and we have a God that is unmovable。我哋係有一個不動搖嘅神。No matter what we face in this world， 無論喺呢個世界，我哋面對乜嘢都好 ，He gives us that everlasting hope。佢就係將呢個永恆嘅盼望賜過俾我哋。Nothing can ever separate us from His love。冇一樣嘢能使我哋與基督嘅愛隔絕。You know, and as long and and all along, that that is the peace that God comes to bring to us。其實從開始，神嘅原意就係要將呢個平安俾過我哋。And He is the one that has come to establish His kingdom in verse seven。係佢嚟到喺第七節講，係佢建立佢嘅國度。You know, His peace came。佢嘅平安嚟到。
And it will be here forever. And a lot of times we suffer through things. But we must realize that God has already established his kingdom. And in the things that we face in our lives, he is the one that will carry us through them. We might not feel peace all the time. But in our souls, we must have that peace of Christ. To know that there is nothing that will ever separate us from his love. And that is the peace that gives to us to look forward to his coming. To know that when he returns, we'll we'll be lifted up in glory with him forever. You know, this is what we celebrate during this Christmas season. We're celebrating God's promise his goodness. God is a, is, is, is a God of loving faithfulness. Because he has kept his promise. A promise that he will send a savior. And that Savior is Jesus Christ. You know, it's not something, not, it's not something that we, we can do on our own. And this, ho- this hope of salvation, you see, can only come through Christ. And without Christ, without the birth of Christ, there is no hope. So when we look back and we and we look forward to celebrating Christmas. God has promised, He has fulfilled His promise to us. That in the birth of Christ, He has already given you all hope. So in this busyness of Christmas, I want to remind us to fix our eyes on Christ. We should marvel at what Christ has already done. Though yes, we we were wretched sinners. God chose to send his son in the form of a babe. To restore our relationship to Him. To give us that peace. We've been made heirs to God's eternal kingdom. We've been already given new hearts. As a believer, you've been given the Holy Spirit to live within you. Just as Shavia shared with us today, no matter what we go through in life, God's grace is greater than all. We will experience the brokenness of life. But the hope of Christ is car- it carries us through. We have been redeemed. And God has intervened for us. He is that wonderful counselor, mighty God. The everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And it is this Prince of Peace, wonderful counselor, that continues to pray for each and every one of us. John 17, Romans 8 reminds us that Jesus, as our high priest, as we learn today, he is the perfect sacrifice that is made for us. 
But he is also the great high priest that is constantly praying for us. So imagine that. The Son of God, Jesus Christ, is at the right hand of God praying for you. He knows that you experience the storms of life. He knows you experience sickness and death of loved ones. He knows you experience all the insecurities of the world. And this is what Jesus wants to remind us, that he is a wonderful counselor. And he is God himself who is praying on our behalf. As Christmas comes along, let us focus on Christ. That we will long for the joy and peace of this good tiding which is rooted in Christ. You know, because if we're just rooting ourselves in this feeling of the holidays, it's a very frivolous feeling that kind of goes away after Christmas Day. It's such a letdown after New Year's Day. But that shouldn't be the case. Because when we celebrate of the birth of our Savior, it should renew us with strength to face the new year. Because he gives us that peace that transcends all understanding. Have you received this peace from God? Have you received this gift of Christ? That gift is so great as beyond anything you can imagine. You know, think about the gifts that you have received through Christmas. You know, I used to so look forward to the Christmas gifts. You know, but how many people have been let down by their gifts every year? Anybody? You know, as you get as you get, as you get to be an adult, you realize, oh, the gifts, okay, I got a flashlight. Okay. Thanks for the comforter. You know, and that Christmas season is like, oh, Christmas is over, and I got I got this for Christmas. Yeah, no, no, it's such a letdown. But we must keep Christ as the focus. You've received Christ for Christmas. That is the most priceless gift. Because there's nothing that's more important than the destiny of your soul. It's Christ who brings eternal hope. Only through Christ can we have endless joy. And he is the one that brings everlasting peace. So make it a point this Christmas. So bring this message of Christ. To all your friends and all your family. Don't just spend this time with frivolous gifts. Without making sure we give this message of gift of Christ. Let us pray. Father, we, we thank you for 
your grace. 天父，我哋为着你嘅恩典感谢你。That you you are the reason for the season. 你就系呢一个节日嘅原因。You are the wonderful counselor. 你就系呢个奇妙嘅测试。Mighty God. 全能嘅神。Everlasting Father. 永恒嘅父。The Prince of Peace. 和平之君。You're the one that has come. 系你嚟到。So that we can be restored. 以致我哋能够恢复。To become your children, 成为你嘅儿女 ，no longer orphans， 再唔系孤儿。But Lord, we have a home， 但系我哋有一个家。And Father, we pray that as your children， 主啊，我哋系你嘅儿女，我哋祈祷。Lord, that we will celebrate your birth， 让我哋去庆祝你嘅诞生。Father, for you have given us， 因为天父系你赐俾我哋嘅 ，a peace。一个平安 ，that is beyond understanding， 系超过我哋能够明白嘅。That we will have a restored relationship to you， 我哋同你嘅关系系恢复嘅。That we can come and call you father， 我哋能够称你为我哋嘅阿爸父。That no matter the storms that we may face in life， 无论喺生命我哋要面对咩嘅风暴 ，you are the one that will always carry us in your arms， 系你。喺你嘅傍臂底下带我哋经过。The one that will protect us through all things。系你将保护我哋。And help us to persevere。帮助我哋有呢个坚信。Father, may you help us to shine forth as your light。天父帮助我哋为你嚟到发光。That we will show forth the glory of Christ。让我哋彰喺我哋生命里边彰显主耶稣基督。That we will live with the fragrance of Christ. 让我哋带着基督嘅馨香。So others will see you. 让别人嘅亦都去寻找你。Father, give us this urgency to bring this message of Christ. 让我哋有呢一个焦急嘅心，将福音带俾人。This Christmas season. 喺呢一个圣诞里边。To all our friends and family. 将呢个消息带俾我哋一切嘅朋友同家人。To all our loved ones. 我哋所爱嘅人。Father, we give you all the glory. 主，我哋将一切嘅荣耀归于你。In Jesus' name, we pray. 奉耶稣嘅名字祈求。Amen. Amen. Let us all rise and turn to Hymn Number Ninety Two.